I had no idea you could do that! If you put in a second controller, you can actually, like, control... I had no idea you could do that! Hey everyone, it's Mickey Dez here, playing some, uh... Leaving Tales Behind. Playing some... Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I imagine... Probably got most cursor on screen. Oh well. Uh, oh hey, here he comes. So if I don't, like, don't control him for a while, then he goes back to auto control. Wow, I, I had never knew that! Like the amount of times I played Sonic 2 as Tails, and I never knew you could control him in the single player mode. I, I didn't. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm learning things today. So, anyway, hey everyone, it's Bendes here playing some Sonic 2 and running into Bad Nicks. Uh, doing the Aquatic Ruin level. Re aquatic Ruin Zone, even. Level is such an archaic term. Am I supposed to go up here? I don't remember. I think I always take the top path on this first one. Because I would prefer to deal with uh, running than swimming. Surprisingly enough. I, don't, I think uh, this is like the token water level for Sonic 2. I, I don't think it's as good as the token water level in Sonic 1, definitely. I think uh, Labyrinth Zone definitely still goes as one of my favourite uh, water levels. In a Sonic game of all time. One of, probably one of my favourite world levels of all time, actually. So, today, I would like to actually mention what is going on with uh, Sublime Gamers, which is another channel that I've been running with Zeba. You guys may have noticed, fairly recently, that there have been a lot of videos, you know, without me, he's been doing a lot of uh, solo stuff, and basically, I'm going to be taking a little bit of a step back from Sublime Gamers. And uh, basically, I, I kind of see the channel as kind of Zeba's, you know, main personal channel now, and that's fine. Uh, I'm still going to be doing like a little, uh, some somewhat semi-active role on the channel. Still going to be doing you know, some LPs, but uh, you know, he basically, he's going to be doing a lot of stuff uh, of his own stuff. You know, he's got his Crisis stuff, he's got his Dead uh, Rising stuff. Uh, I think his Warcraft stuff. I don't know if that's just him or whatever. And he's going to be doing stuff with other people, like, you know, his League of Legends stuff, and his DayZ stuff, and whatever else he's got going. And that's fine. Uh, you probably notice he's got a lot of stuff on the go, which is, you know... Ultimately, I'm leaving the channel basically in his ca capable hands, is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, wow, we're on the boss of Aquatic Ruins already. That's uh, pretty neat. Let us continue smashing it. I thought they, oh, you can hit him when it's on the, like, the lowest ring. Why did this boss always give me trouble? <laughs> I think this boss mostly gave me trouble because I'm very impatient. <laughs> and I just kind of wanted to keep hitting him, and I never ended up keep hitting him because you have to wait for each arrow each time you hit. Whatever. There we go. Robotnik is dead. You, you, get, you woodland creatures, you are all free to roam about the wasteland. I believe... Was that... We really got through two acts? How long? How, okay, how long have I been recording? I'm I'm checking how long I've been recording, because this is this is a little bit silly. There are four minutes, four minutes, and already, <laughs> already we've finished a full zone. That the, the Quasi Ruin Zone is like one of the ones that I remember the least about in uh, Sonic 2. And now we move on to everyone's favourite zone, or at least my favourite zone by far in this game. I I single-handedly blame Sonic 2 and this zone in particular for my uh, obsessive with compulsive behaviour and addiction to gambling. <laughs> As I'm pretty sure a lot of kids do. So yeah, this is the stage that taught me gambling pays, guys! <laughs> yeah. If you've never really actually played Sonic 2 or anything, basically this is a zone all about a casino and how you can play slot machines and things like that. Uh, I usually wait till Act 2 to actually do any slots though, because like Act 1, Act, Act 2 has a lot of slot machines in it. Act 1 is more of a platform type experience, and I always, I find the level design in this one pretty damn well made as well, because there's a lot of, uh, basically you can't just kind of run through it. Like here, this is one of the most annoying parts I find, because you have to land on one of those blue box, blue blocks. There's no other way up there. You you basically like have to keep trying until you like land on one of the. Uh, one of these things. This is by far like the greatest zone ever. <laughs> I say like the design is great and then I get hopelessly stuck at it. Here's a slot machine. Oh, oh there was a slot machine. I kind of just missed it though. And uh, yeah, here is a place where we'll get to use a spin dash. Maybe? Yeah, we're gonna have to use a spin dash. 
Let's do the spin dash if we can get up there. Spin dashing all the way to victory! Or not. Oh, there we go. <laughs> wow, I'm forgetting all about these. Hey, found us on a secret. Did not not believe we would find any secrets or anything, but hey, there we go. So yeah, so they, start, they put so much stuff into this zone, because there's all the, uh, like, th th this zone feels to me like it has a lot of things that other zones don't have. That, in particular, slot machines are an obvious example. But anyway, here we are in the second special, st special stage. Pretty sure the second special stage is where things get a little bit more uh, challenging. The first special stage is more, it's kind of like a free emerald. But from here on out, we've got to really pay attention. Whenever you're taking a corner as well, you really can't see ahead. You can't really see where the rings are going to be. Corners are you do your worst enemy in this game, in this particular stage. Uh, I think they pretty much alternate. But most of the time, they put it on the uh, side that's furthest away from the camera, but uh, not always. So wow, yeah, can I like control tails in this? Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> That'd be that'd be nice, and yeah, you got these like weird like all over the place things. You can't you can't stop on the root ceiling, by the way. If you stop on the ceiling, you just kind of fall down, which I think is a really neat touch. <laughs> and this whole thing, like, bear in mind this was like the Mega Drive days. 3D was not really established. I never had a SNES, so I never experienced you know Mode Seven or anything like they had with Super Mario Kart and F Zero or anything. So this this stage was like, oh my god. Three dimensions? We can't have three dimensions as Tails keeps getting hit constantly. It's like, it was insane! <laughs> There's really no other word for it. I need like one more ring. Oh my god, I'm, I'm failing, I'm failing. Ain't no way. There's a lot of uh, bad thingies around. Oh, come on, I need like two more rings. Oh, did I get it? Did I get it? Oh my god, I got it. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. How, why is Tails in front? <laughs> Tails. Tails, get, ba get back. Tails. Tails. Get behind me, thank you very much. Two Chaos Emeralds! Yeah, I think we have a, ch a higher chance of uh, getting Chaos Emeralds in this game than we had in the first game. How many did I end up with in the first game? Was it like two? Yeah, I think I saw him with like four of them, so it was either two or three. I completely forget. Here's a slot machine! You go in it and then, oh my god, slots! And then you get coins. <laughs> I say coins, I mean rings. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, I, I can't get over the fact that, you know, it's coins. Because, like, every game uses coins except Sonic, which is rings. And I'm just like, I can't adapt to that kind of reality. <laughs> it's insane. It's, you see, we're still on Act 1. So this is a much longer stage than uh, Aquatic Ruin Zone. I'm going to get crushed if I try and go over there. Can I, like, make it up there if I do that? No, probably not. I probably could, but I can't be bothered. So... Yeah, as soon as we get into Act 2, I'm probably going to put putting a lot of time into doing slot machines and things. Hey, I think we're at the end of the level. Yeah, we are. So it's time to put some uh, effort into slot machines and stuff. Because I did actually used to, uh, on Act 2, just pretty much just go to the slot machine and then use my entire time limit there. <laughs> like, I'm, essentially, what I would do is uh, spend like 9 minutes there, because it's like a 10 minute time limit. I think it's a 10 minute time limit. I basically like, spend nine minutes there just doing the slot machines, and then, uh, and then spend the rest of the nine, uh, one minute. It's this slot machine I usually used. It's this little slot machine off the side because it's like a bigger slot machine later on in the level. But this one's like right at the start of the level. So I just kept like restarting the level, doing this. <laughs> used to be able to like get in that every time from this flingy thing. <laughs> I was like hopelessly addicted to gambling at the age of like eight or something. <laughs> Oh look, Robotniks, doesn't matter. I think the only way to actually lose rings on these slot machines is to get three Robotniks, which very rarely happens. Like, you're probably going to make more money than you lose. And that is ultimately why it was such a... Uh... Oh look, three Robotniks, just as I say that. You're pretty much going to make more money than you lose, usually. I think three Robotniks actually removes like 50 coins, isn't it? Coins. 50 rings! <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I think that gives you 10, I think 3 Sonics is like 50 or something, and 3 Tails is like 20, and then there's like 3 Jackpots which is like 100, and yeah, Robotnik's surprisingly common considering you need 3 of them. It is definitely not a randomly generated combination of 3, <laughs> let's put it that way. See, another 3 Robotnik's, wow, I've got 3 Robotnik's 3 times, this is, this does not bode well. I also, actually, I think I found that it seems kind of weighted, like, 
Sometimes you get a good slot machine, sometimes you get like constant uh, Robotniks. Wow, that, that wasn't any rings? A Sonic Jackpot and Tails? I'd have thought that would have been like some rings. I'd have thought that would have been some rings as well. I think this game is shenanigans in me. There we go, three Sonics. Three Sonics is 30. I think three bars is 50 then, and three jackpots is 100. Something like that. Oh look, another 30! Come on, I, I want to I get 100 rings. <laughs> I want to at least get 100 rings from this. Probably going to hit, hit like another five Robotniks in a row or something. But you know what? I'm hopelessly addicted to this, so hey. <laughs> uh, oh, three bars is 20 then, okay. I'm totally wrong. I'm totally wrong in everything I say. You should just pretty much assume that about my commentary. And there we go, we hit 100. And now I'm going to stop. <laughs> you know, I've got enough for uh, special stages if we find another thing. Ah, there's this one as well. Is this one? Ah, this one's just like points. This one does not have a slot machine on it. But yeah, <laughs> that was my life. <laughs> it was pretty fantastic. So, onwards! Let's just get to the end of the level. I don't really like the boss of this uh, particular stage. Oh no! No! Get the special stage! Two special stages in one episode. Alright. <laughs> Let's do this thing! For the third Chaos Emerald. You can actually get a special stage at any midpoint, so you can get like multiple ones per level. Which is pretty great. So pretty much like, even if you make it to the last zone without uh, many emeralds, you can still pretty much do it. Unlike the first game, where if you get to like the labyrinth zone without a single emerald or something. Ah, oh, don't get hit! Tails can collect rings, but he's very unreliable because he does do a lot of running into enemies, so... It's generally not advisable to have him collecting rings ever. Wow, have I really failed this? Ah, oh, jump over that! Well done, Tails. Yeah, I've really failed this. Wow. I failed that epically. <laughs> and I'm pretty glad to have made your acquaintance level. <laughs> oh well. I don't exactly have any... Um... Well, I have a desire to get all the emeralds. I just don't have the... I, like, I, I outright know that I don't have the ability to get all the emeralds. So you can go up there, but I'm going to go down. Because <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do that. I'm just... That, like, with games like this, I'm just kind of showing how, you know, I, how I've played in the past and how I tend to play video games. So yeah, I think there's like another, yeah there is another slot machine here. Do spend some time here as well, if I had any time left after the first uh, slot machine. Did I really lose all that, all those like rings? I thought I had like 100 rings. Did I get hit? Uh, I guess I must have done. Oh well, it happens. Yeah, this is a kind of annoying part as well. You got a bunch of things that you bounce off. Wait, wasn't there a secret here? Like there. Yes, there is! Oh my god. No, there's not. This is like an optional path in this direction. Okay. I thought it was like a secret that I could go to from this place, but it's not. It is an optional egg. Uh, and an other path in this direction. Oh wow, you can fall off those. <laughs> I guess I never usually jump on those. Please come back down. Thank you. Yeah, so, so don't jump on these. That's my top tip for the day. Sonic's top tip! Don't jump on elevators because you might just fall through the floor. Wait a minute, this doesn't make any sense. This does not make any sense at all. Uh, oh yeah, well done Tails. I was going to see if I could get enough rings to get a thing. So here is the boss. I am not really a fan of this boss. This boss, I think, sometimes is a bit shenanigansy. He is basically... See, basically things like that. He is basically uh, immune on his bottom. And he has a lot of lightning power and stuff. Thanks, Tails. Wow, you actually saved my life again by collecting that ring. He'll try and hit you with the lightning. He'll also try and, like, throw bombs at you. He's a little bit shenanigansy. The only way to actually hit him is to hit him from the top, which you have to do by, like, spin dashing around and then hitting him. I think you're meant to use, like, the flippers and stuff. But I don't, even, I don't ever bother doing that. Just kind of spin dash around. Oh, look. I'm hitting you. Look at me. Hitting you. I do like the fact that you're playing a giant, like, pinball machine, though. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And there we go, that is the end of Casino Night Zone. So next time, we shall be moving on to the fifth act of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Fifth act? Fifth zone! Like, tenth act. Of uh, Sonic 2. And I think it's Hilltop? It is Hilltop! Alright, Hilltop's not too bad. So we shall move on to that next time. I shall see you next time, folks, for more Sonic 2. Which I will basically record as soon as I have something to talk about, which... I don't know when that'll be. I don't ever have anything to talk about, ever.
That'll, that'll talk. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs>